Okay, now we're back to Disney Heroes vs. Villains, starting at round 12, part 1. So, let's go. So, we start off with the prologue. We, uh, see all the forces of Hercules retreated at their, their fight against Queen Grimilda's and the Horn King's forces. And then they're spotted by Pain and Panic. Man, they're really struggling with this whole war against these villains, don't they? I mean, wars are kind of struggle. Of course, they'd be depressed. Well, that pain of panic shows up. Hold on. Well, oh, way to make fun of him. Everyone's just feeling sad for Herc. And look at Goofy just standing up for Herc. Wait, okay now, I'll hear your tooth them all again. And Donald Duck just throwing his temper tantrum at pain of panic. Even Famous is standing up for her. Like, be gone! And they're chickens. And they're out of here. And Hercules vows to heal. How do I go again? Oh, yeah. Her Hercules himself vows to make things right somehow. Hmm. Okay, and then we see a. Uh, the location where Grandmother Willow is at, we see all the animals have reunited under Grandmother Willow. Yeah, they're all back together. Well, except for the three cows. And... wonder where Bambi's at, and reveals that... There's Bambi, it... It turned back into a kid! <laughs> He turned back into a little deer. A little kid deer. And they're surprised! He's young! And there's the great prince of the forest. Well, I guess Grandmother Willow just thought saving him by turning him into a kid or something. Okay, and then back at Beast's castle we see that they get a, sorry, a little tongue tied. They get a visit from Mama Odie, who travel all the way there just to tell everyone that their friends need them more than ever. And now they're gonna go off and help them out. Ah, well, Laverne always gets tired of these pigeons going on her. And then we see uh, Milo and the crew no, witnessing a space crash which belongs to Buzz Lightyear, and the other team. And I think they explained about what happened to their ship, and said, yeah, we get this bit, it turns out someone blasts them. Someone shot their ship, and it might be Rourke. Okay, I wonder how everyone can fit inside. You're not just Buzz and his team, but also, you know, Captain Amelia, Dr. Dobbler, Peakley, Ben, and Jumba. All in one ship. Was well, very, very, very tight. And they're gonna go after him, and he's gonna arrest Rourke and get, get questions out of this guy. Well, demand answers, that is. And then we see the dogs and cats, along with Lilo and Stitch, on the way to shut down that circus to save all the children. And then they run into the crows. Oh, these crows. Because they want to help them out. And... Teaching Dumbo to fly. Ah, oh, yeah, have you seen uh, Dumbo? Yeah, that's when they help Dumbo to fly. And it surprised them! The first time they've seen an elephant fly. I'll be worried about that because of the weight it's gaining. Huh. <laughs> 
Yeah, the coachman and his forces. They'll be in for a surprise. Save an elephant fly. Okay, now for the first fight, we get the Beast versus Humbert the Huntsman. Okay, back at Queen Grimhilda's castle, we see that Dr. Facilier is spying on Belle, who's actually escaping. About time she does so. Risky, but okay. And while following her, he sends the Queen's loyal huntsman, Humbert, to go and kill the Beast before, you know, before what happened again? Are we certain? Before she ever becomes reunited with her love. Okay. I always feel bad for the Huntsman just ending up with these guys. And what are these Vulgers doing in uh, Europe? Or wait, actually Snow White takes place in Germany, so they probably travel all the way to Germany. Because I think the story of Snow White takes place in Germany, I believe. We see the Beast and his forces uh, just still going to the Queen's castle. And... Humbert is going to go and kill him. Well, they're, they're watching this whole thing. And these two are just... Hmm. Let's see who dies first. And I guess Dr. Fasalia sends his shadows to... Chase Bell. Well, actually, Fasalia's with them also. He's trying to separate them. What it looks like. I guess they're just distracted talking to each other. Ah, and then we see Belle finally reunited with Beast. They're gonna have a... Uh, it's almost gonna be a sweet reunion until he ruins it. And the dwarf's coming in like, Don't worry, bro, we'll save ya! And... Drops the knife! Surprise them all. Hold on. He somehow knew the Beast is a prince, huh? Does he know him before he was a beast? That's my question. I guess he's warning them about who sent them, which is the Shadow Man, Dr. Fasolier. Hold on. Run away! Hey! Tells them to, you know, get out of here. Well, technically, they did got Belle, so she's with them now. And I would have hoped that Humper would have actually go with them, but no, he just stands behind, accepting his fate. Jesus! And Fasolia kills Humper the Huntsman. We never actually did see him die in the movie, we just haven't seen him since. Jeez! Fasolia, you cold-blooded dude! Okay, now we got Pocahontas and John Smith versus Danahi. So, Kenai and Kode have, are reunited with Maggie Grace and Mrs. Calloway, with John Smith and Pocahontas roped into the reunion. Huh. And then Denahi shows up, he's still willing to kill Kenai, not knowing that it's Kenai in the form of a bear. Again, it's been forever since I've seen Brother Bear, so I know how he was obsessed with wanting to kill Kenai just for revenge. Well, even though he doesn't know that's Kenai in the bear form. Yeah, John Smith's tr trying to save Kenai, trying to stop Denahi. Yeah, there's... Yeah, they're trying to run away. Well, then they made it over to the other side. Well, yep. Yeah. We get this bit also from that movie where the log falls down where he's on. And flow into the ocean. Well, the sea, I mean. No. Floating through the water, I mean. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then the next fight is Buzz Lightyear versus Rourke. So, Buzz Lightyear and his team have managed to find the base of Rourke, and they're gonna, you know, 
arrest him to ask him questions about his reason why he shot them. While they are space rangers, while they're technically like space patrols, yeah, it's uh, understandable. Again, it's been forever since I've seen the Buzz Lightyear movie and the cartoon. Well, no, not Lightyear. That's not the one with the CGI one. It's the the one that was like a pilot to the TV show, which became a movie. I mean, no, it was a movie that's a pilot of a TV show, which became a cartoon show. It's just been forever since I've seen that Buzz Lightyear cartoon. Oh, and then we get this bit. Hold on. Roar just trying to push Helga off there. Helga feels betrayed. Yeesh. Looks like it's against Buzz and Warg now. And we get this bit where Helga is. A okay. Although I did read on her Disney wiki page that they were working on more like the TV show of Atlantis, which I would have thought it'd be really a dumb show, but they did say that Helga would have actually revealed to be, you know, alive and she survived. It becomes like the main villain of the show, which that never happened because that movie really bombed at the box office, so all that was scrapped. I'll leave the link down below to the page. And they manage... Uh, I mean, Buzz Lightyear manages to arrest Warg. Handcuffed him. And now for the next fight is... The forces of Zerg versus the forces of... Wait, is that... Oh, yeah. The forces of Peter Pan versus the forces of Zerg. So Zerg almost completing his planet al lining machine. They got... Now they got to go to that spacecraft, I mean, the spaceship, the uh, spaceship or spacecraft, uh, the airship, okay, to raid the airship, where there's one piece that is needed. Bring out the gun, boys! On the way to that airship, and they're attacking it. Uh, Peter, it's not a good time to try to taunt Gantu. Well, then again, it's Peter Pan. Of course, he'd be making fun of them. You know, just playing around. Hmm. Let them fall off the ship. Man, Tink, you savage. Hey, Alice, where'd you get the mushroom? And I was like, what the heck? Now we got a giant 10 year old girl on the ship. Managed to outnumber Gantu. Let's hope her weight don't crush this ship to fall down. And okay, at first when he gets that uh, blaster gun like that, I would have thought he was going to shoot her, but. Somehow that thing has the ability to shrink Alice back to normal size. Okay. And Jim is reunited with... John Silver. Not a happy reunion, but a very... Not good reunion. Huh? Right in the robo leg! Well, at least it wasn't the left leg. That would have been bloody. Like, don't you dare. And he did it. He dared. Dang! Scrub you savage too! Uh oh. Man, Silver is now betraying Zerg forces. I think I'm going to stop right here. See you guys in the next commentary.